I would like to acknowledge that this meeting is uh, respectfully held on the traditional territory of the Psychos First Nation, on whose land we live, work, and play. We have an agenda distributed. Would somebody like to move adoption? Second. No additions or deletions. All in favor? Carried. Now we have three sets of minutes here. Uh, I think we can adopt them all at once. Would somebody like to move that? Move. Seconder? Second. Anything coming out of the minutes? All in favor? Carried. Uh, no bylaws, no delegations. CAO reports, NKDF and NDIT grant applications for Redmond wetlands. Would anybody like to speak to this? No. <laughs> um, I was approached by uh, Wayne Selecki, who does some of the work out on the wetlands, and they are, were looking for a wheelchair accessible washroom to be added to the property. There are no washroom facilities there, and there are a lot of School District 91 groups that attend there, so they are asking for some facilities during those learning um, sessions. So I have put together two applications, one to NKDF and one to NDIT, which coupled with their already 6,000 contribution will have them install, if approved, a fully accessible bathroom. Awesome. And that funding was that they have is through Centera Gold, right? Mount Milligan? Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Any questions? Would somebody like to move the recommendation? Seconder? All in favor? Carry. 6.2, water rates. Did you want to speak to this, Margaret? Or Mokos? Oh. It is not on my cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> It is not. It's all good. We'll go to museum. Yeah, it's reversed. It's all good. Museum roofing. Uh, we have a recommendation there. Would somebody like to move it? Seconder? Any, uh, anybody like to speak to it? Great news story. Local company. Yeah, local. That's what I've got to Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. And uh, I'm sure the museum are, are really happy with this news and, and all on board. Perfect. All in favor? Carried. Okay, 6.3 is water rates. Are you speaking this, Margaret? Did you want me to speak? Or what was? Yeah, do you want me to speak? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you were okay. There Am you go. I good? You're good now. So, with the purchase of the North Side Water System Utility, we will have to incorporate uh, the hospital, manor, nurses, residents into our um, water rates bylaw. That is unique to the North Side. We do not have a hospital or any of those over here. So, the bylaw actually is just taking the rates we're currently charging for all the residents on the south side. And it's adding the hospital, manor, and health unit at and nurses residence at the um, rates that Northside Water was historically charging so that we can charge all of the residents over there. Any questions? J just just one, and 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 maybe it goes into a parking lot for later discussion. Uh, I did. I just didn't think it was the right time to to maybe put it in here tonight. Uh, and that would be to look at the the water facilities that sell water within our community. And if we could put that into a parking lot where we discuss it at a later time, that would be, you know when we review the whole bylaw as a whole, I think that would be good to do that. Any other questions, comments? Seeing that, all in favor? Carried. Awesome. Uh, 6.4, Code of Conduct. Uh, we have a recommendation there. Would somebody like to move? I'll move it. Seconder? I'll second it. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, sorry, I thought you had your mic going. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Carried. Appointment of approving officer. You have a recommendation there. Would somebody like to move it? Seconder? Any discussion? All in favor? Carried. <laughs> okay, uh, on to councillor items. Let's start with councillor Lose. Uh, you know, um, at this time I have have nothing to really report, so I'll just pass. Thank you. Sounds good. On to Councillor Frankel. I'm going to be very similar to Councillor Lose. Um, lots of fire updates, and that's basically been the topic of most of my meetings the last three weeks, four weeks. Thanks. Yeah, attended a lot of the initial fire meetings and then uh, went on holidays for a bit and stopped. But uh, yeah, that's pretty quiet. We have a uh, housing meeting come up this week. So unfortunately, cannot report anything until the next time. <laughs> Councilor Vandola. I uh, was able to attend the co-op staff uh, barbecue. Um, it was unbelievably well attended. They had like 120, 100, 150 of their staff members there in attendance. Uh, I was lucky enough to be in that group. I did get approached by uh, an individual that uh, works with the um, uh, community garden and they're going to be having a dinner and they'd like to have uh, coming up here sometime in the month and they'd like to make sure somebody from council is in attendance for that. Um, and then the second thing is uh, uh, yesterday was uh, National Métis Day and they, they uh, it was next door at Berlin Park, not as well attended as I would thought it was going to be. They had uh, brought in uh, uh, music from Prince George. The band was fantastic, actually. Um, uh, they had a few vendors there. Uh, Maggie Sato was doing face painting for kids and stuff. But uh, it was uh, it was good that the municipality we had our band set up the uh, stage set up there and uh, and there was you know I'd say there maybe fifty people there you know and they had a horse and buggy doing to rides for kids and stuff but it's so anyway that's that's it for me yes that's the bomber <clears throat> oh you were on there we go oh yeah i i attended two fun things i i went to the uh, concert in the park slash arena and uh it was not very well attended as well uh not many people there but boy the bands had a great time jamming and they really enjoyed themselves sam holden hung around and played harmonica for anyone who wanted them to do that and uh, they all had a really good time and no one wants to see it stop, but we'll have to figure out a way to better promote it and uh, things like that. I also attended the May Tea Day yesterday uh, in Furland Park. Um, as they said, that there were more people at the May Tea Day, though, than were at the concert in the park. So that's a good thing to note. And uh, yeah, it was really, a, a, um, a, actually, I thought there was a lot more people who could have attended that one as well because it was a good thing to um, uh, get the communities together and everybody was having a good time. And yeah, Sam Holden did a good job. So did that, uh, as you mentioned, that group from Prince George. And uh, free ice cream, you know, and free rag and rides behind the horse. The kids loved it. It was good. So that's uh, basically, other than the fire updates, that's it for me. That's the Martins. Yeah, thanks. I have really nothing to report either, other than just agreeing with Councillor Lose and Councillor Young. Um, we have our housing meeting this week, and and uh, hopefully we can get hear some important things there. So looking forward to that. So that's it for me. Yeah, obviously, um, last month wildfire has taken up most of my attention. At one time, I was uh, uh, participating in three briefings a day, um, mm -hmm. which maybe was a little excessive. Maybe next time I would cut one of those out. But uh, you want to make sure you're you're as as updated as you can. Um, spending a lot of time. Related with wildfire, really trying to uh, to see if there's a way to make the fall fair run. Obviously, that that wasn't successful, but I put in uh, multiple days on that one. 
A few, you know, Tinto community leaders meeting. There's actually one on Wednesday that um, conflicts with our Comfort meeting, so they're going to send me the information right away afterwards, and then uh, I'll have a chat with Andrew if if anything comes out of that. Big, well, big story. The story there is um, we're coming out of STMP. They were talking about holding on. It's supposed to end on the 15th. We're going to hold it through to the 20th, which is good news in my mind. A little more water, but of course, then it's going to go down to the the 35 cubic meter release, which is is going to be a drastic reduction in the river because there's nothing coming out of the Nautley system. Um, had a really good uh, regional district of Auckland and Chaco workshop on working with the Media 101. Um, trying to incorporate a bit of that into the interviews I did, but it wasn't that successful, but something to strive for going forward. Um, been a lot of interviews recently. Uh, Michael Reese Christensen from uh, the Burns Lake rural area was saying, I can't wait to hear you say something, be on the radio for something positive. It's always a bad news story. So looking forward to when that does uh, turn around. Uh, and a few um, mayors and chairs calls with ministers Kang and Ma. I struggle a little bit with how useful they are. You've just got too many people on those calls, right? When And the island's complaining a little about a little spot fire and you're dealing with, you know, hundreds of thousands of hectares, right? If you add it all together. Uh, the Chaco Lumber announcement, of course, uh, uh, was a, a big one. Um, we had, it was amazing. We had a community transition call the same day as the announcement. Uh, had a few calls with Greg Stewart. Um, we had the one that you guys were all invited to. And of course, the 30th, uh, keep that on your calendars. That's a two hour meeting in the morning, 9 a.m. for those who went to the last one. Uh, that'll be important to take part in. And uh, ER closures is the other uh, big file. Um, had a call with Minister Dix. It went really well. Um, uh, Van Hoof is being very much supported now, even though it probably doesn't feel like it because we're not getting fully the result we want, but they are working hard and trying to put incentives out to get docs in. Uh, tomorrow, I have a meeting with Greg Marr and then some of the more local staff uh, with Northern Health again on that, trying to, uh, to work on that issue. That's what I have. Um, would somebody like, oh, we don't receive them anymore, right? Okay. Moving on. Yes. Kudos to our staff and, and those who also did the tea on the weekend. Um, I went by there in the morning. We were, we were kind of under the weather, so we didn't stick around, but just it was a great setup. And I had a few people the next day tell me they really enjoyed it and had some young kids there as well. And so sort of, sometimes people think it's just for, for the older folks and for everybody. And it was, I could see they did a lot of work. So kudos to whoever was on that. We just want to make sure they know that. And, and back to the MAT piece, I, I also had people asking me that day what was going on there. And so we were telling them, but I'm just wondering, again, it goes back to how are we, we're doing a great job, I think, in our social media, but we almost need to get the old fashioned signs back out in the streets and other things, various points, maybe just to get people's attention. So anyway, sorry about that. And that is the, the thing. There's so many things going on all the time, too, that it's conflicting of, of what you can you can only be at one place at one time. Right. Good. OK, moving on to the uh, public works uh, update building update. You bet. OK, 8.1 <laughs> release from confidential. Um, so this doesn't need a motion, right? Because it's all been done. That's just for information. OK, A2, public works building update. Uh, do you want to speak to this? Oh, shit. I got it here. Oh, no, I don't. I'm hitting the wrong one. There we go. Thank you, Worship. <clears throat> so uh, building construction progress is very good. Uh, it's almost done accepts the electrical part because of the supply chain issue. So that will be done sometimes in September, October. Basically October, they will be finishing that part. Otherwise, the other major parts are done and they are now wrapping up the work. Good progress. And there are some um, change order requests. I'm reviewing those and we'll approve those. And we'll update you in later communication. Thank you. Perfect. Any questions? Okay, awesome. Moving on. Uh, July checklisting. Any questions in there? Nope. Okay. Uh, we have council priorities there. Uh, just as a reminder at each meeting of what our strategic goals are. Uh, 9.1 correspondence. 
Yes, okay, so 8.3 building permits. Any questions on building permits? Okay, now 9.1 correspondence. Um, Councillor Lozzi, I think you requested this to go on. Did you want to? Uh, sure, comment? thank you. Yeah, no, when I read this letter, I, I'm just wondering if it's something that we would like to uh, also support because I think, um, you know, I'm just some of the the concerns that that I have is this one size fits all policy for the whole province. Um, certainly, the needs that we we want to see housing and accessible and affordable housing for all people in our community, but um, but we're I don't think we're struggling with the the land issue that is is more of an issue in some of our larger urban centers and um and i really was um uh, you know in this letter they also said they had a an infrastructure capacity it, you know that's one of the challenges they have that's very similar to ours and um and i was just wondering um asking wanting to ask council if this is something that um, we might be also concerned about. And we would like to, uh, I would like to ask council if, you know, we just sent a letter just requesting them to be considerate of the unique needs of our smaller communities. Memory's going, but did we not have a letter in the last two weeks, three weeks that was in our reading file about something was it housing that was rural and there was talk about meeting at ubcm willine is that yep yeah but it doesn't does it mention ubcm I think maybe. thank you yep okay hey, just putting two and two together yeah, I appreciate that Councillor Lazi put this on there because I think we need to get behind anything that has any similarities with any with the issues that we're facing. So and it just keeps bringing the attention back then um, on our situation on others in the same boat. And it's it's something that I think we we keep talking about trying to unite the voices uh, around the province in rural situations like ours and and other smaller communities. And so if any time we can, I think, partner or be part of a I don't know, I want to use the word coalition, but a group that, that's bringing attention to this, I think we should, because you know we might be bringing something forward in the next few months, who knows, and we would like to have support as well. So I think, it, and some of this is echoing what we've been talking about. So yeah. I'm glad this has been brought forward. So any action coming out of that? <laughs> well, I, I I would just uh, I would just like the you know that we also send a letter and um, and I think it's important that you know we we show the government or the the province that we appreciate that they're you know they're looking at solutions, but to be very considerate of smaller communities like ours. Uh, we also have an ALR, a lot of ALR land around our community, um, but we do not have the same um, land issue within our community that they do in some of the larger centers. So by legislating policies that are going to dictate how we're using our land, um, that's concerning to me. So. They need to be considerate of ours. We would like that consideration. I'll second Councillor Lozzi's uh, motion of, of sending a letter, but I would also reply to the email about meeting with uh, with this rural groups um, at UBCM. Sure. But that's not a letter. That's just a reply to the email. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think over the past year and a bit, those of us who've been on the on the housing committee, it, it is a little frustrating when we see the the attempts the government's been making throughout the province, which is appreciated, but they don't fit. And it goes back to that one size fit all, fits all for us. And so I think somehow we have to articulate uh, when we're discussing with them, we have to move beyond the one size fits all to you know something that's tailored to meet the needs of rural and smaller communities and just keep beating that drum so they they understand that it's, 
some of these large amounts of money they put aside, none of us could apply for it. We didn't have any opportunities or any building um, type situations that would fit for some of these larger scale approaches that they were looking at. And, and I think that's that's where we're losing out in our smaller communities. So anyway. Is that good enough, William? Do we need a resolution or anything? That's good. Okay, all in favor? Carried. Thank you. Okay. We're adjourned. Thank you.